To be able to have this opportunity to pick and choose amazing art, place it in a beautiful English countryside. What a dream role, really. I've tried to choose art installations that are going to complement what's already there, working to make the whole environment even more beautiful. Really combining nature and geometric shapes as well as new technologies, which I think is really exciting. It's hopefully going to blow people's socks off. I'm creating an ultraviolet wind sculpture and a light cube that's called 10 million. 10 million is a piece that I made in response to a recent study that has just said that the world pollutes the oceans with 10 million metric tons of plastic every year. And it's a meter cubed made from found recycled plastic bottles. The liquid stage this year has been completely reimagined, which is really exciting. I'm creator symbiosis of visual stage frontage as well as a credible video installation. But we've got a hot air balloon that's going to be from a tropical island crash landing somewhere in the woodlands. Looking forward to using Michelle Townsend who's coming in creating some laser cut sculptures. Hi there, I'm Michelle Townsend and I'm a creative and I'm contributing some pyramids of light. So that's my installation this year at Noisily. They were there last year, this time they're getting bigger and better. So I'm fascinated with technology. Laser cutting is my current theme, it's kind of been with me for a while. I just find it really versatile. I can use a whole variety of different materials, I can etch onto the surface, I can cut right through, you can kind of combine different processes. My inspiration doesn't come from uh, the Isle of Avalon as such, it comes from the sort of micro-analysis of things. So often it's not the rolling fields that inspire me, but you know, you just look at the way a tree is formed or a leaf is constructed and, and that's the inspiration. I've been to Noisily a few times now and obviously created artwork there and that's really an inspiring environment so I've often designed for the location. I always have a lot of friends who go there. It's a really fun experience for me. It's, uh, it's always rewarding as an artist. You know, I think the role of an artist, his work is, is really about reflecting or making a commentary on the immediate environment that he, she finds himself in. If that gets fused with aesthetics, narrative and craft, then you can start making very powerful pieces. Across the Noisily team, there is a real passion that everyone feels together, and that's really special. And I don't know if I've felt that as much, working with a team that everyone just believes in it so much. I know it's going to be amazing.